Interesting point about hemoptysis is that in the case of massive hemoptysis, the most dangerous kind, of course, the patient is far more likely to drown in their own blood than to die from blood loss, if sanguination. The total volume of the anatomical dead space in the airways, the trachea and the major bronchi, is only about 150 milliliter. A massive hemoptysis is defined as a coughing cup more than 100, 600 milliliters of blood over 24 hours. So this means a single large bleed can rapidly fill the airways, preventing air from reaching the alveoli. The primary cause of death is asphyxiation, not suffocation. Asphyxiation is more correct. As the patient literally drowns in their own blood before they could ever become hemodynamically unstable, uh, from volume, blood volume loss. So it's completely reframed the emergency. The immediate life-saving priority is not to transfuse blood, but to protect the airways, the airway. This is a profound shift in mind steam from one type of massive bleeding, no, for example, trauma, GI bleeding, like this. It dictates the first step of management. So the first and principal thing you must to do for a patient with massive hemoptysis is position. So means position them correctly. You place them in the cubitus position with the bleeding side down, if you know which side is bleeding. This uses gravity to keep the blood in the bad lung, but protecting the good lung, no intact lung, so the patient can still breathe. This simple no-tech maneuver is more critical than any drug or transfusion in the first few minutes. It highlights the source of the bleed. Over 90% of immersive hemoptysis comes not from low-pressure pulmonary arteries, but from the high-pressure bronchial arteries. Arteries. These arteries, the tiny systemic arteries that can run alongside the bronchi when they are eroded by a tumor, an infection, not like a tuber, tuberculosis cavity. Or bronchiectasis, the bleeding is arterial, high pressure, and torrential, which is why it can fill the airways so rapidly, so quickly. You have it? Good.